people with diabetes consume Fuji apples? This is a question I frequently receive. In this week's video, we're going to examine the nutritional chart and let you know whether or not individuals with a diabetes diagnosis can consume this type of... So tune in, watch until the end, because I'm sure that you will leave here learning more every... In this week's episode of Can People with Diabetes, we're going to evaluate the Fuji apple, which is an apple widely recognized throughout our territory and where many doubts whether they can consume it or not. First, we're going to examine the nutritional table that I'm showing here on the side now to clear up some initial doubts that you might have. Initially, we're going to evaluate 100 G of Fuji apple, which is a quantity somewhat larger than the one that I have here in my hands. This one here is smaller, but for comparison purposes, let's consider 100 G to make your understanding easier, all right? In 100 G of apple, we have 52 calories. So it's not calorie rich food. Remember this, regarding carbohydrates, 100 G of apple provides 13.81 G, meaning less than 15% of the edible part of the fruit is carbohydrate. It's glucose, which increases blood glucose. Also remember that regarding proteins, 0.26 is not a high. Regarding fats, 0.17 also shows it contains virtually no fat. As for fiber content, there are 2.4 G of fibers, which is why it's crucial to always eat an apple with its fiber. To answer the question I asked earlier, diabetics can eat apples without major issues as long as they don't overdo. You don't need to eat more than 100 G of apple a day. Eating 100 G of apple will suffice and it's a very handy snack tip that you can quickly cut up and eat. You can also put it in natural yogurt. You can eat it without any major problems but importantly Eat it with the peel, avoid excesses, and then you can incorporate it into your routine without any issues. But Edu, I don't know how much 100 grams of apple weighs. That's why it's very important that you have a digital scale at home. A digital scale does not cost more than 30 REAIs and is incredibly useful for anyone with a diabetes diagnosis who wants to manage their diet because sometimes this apple here can weigh 200 grams and we don't realize it eating double the amount of carbohydrate which can cause a rise in blood glucose. But also this apple can weigh 50 grams and we end up eating less than we ideally would. That's why it's important to have a digital scale at home. You can purchase it through the link here that I will leave, but you can easily find one in any department store where you will find a digital scale. With this scale, I am confident that your life will change for the better because you will know how to manage portions of foods that you eat there in your daily life, right? And that was this week's episode of Who Has Diabetes? If you want a food or a supplement evaluated by me, be sure to leave your comment. The comments and the foods that you send, I write them all down. And later, I may record a video about the fruit, the food, the meal, or the supplement that you would like to know about in a more detailed way, and whether you can consume it or not in your routine. That's why it's so important that you leave your comment. YouTube starts to deliver the video to more people, the channel keeps evolving and it doesn't cost you anything to leave a comment about what you want to learn. I need to teach you in more detail and knowledge is never too much, okay? If you're still watching, it's a sign that you liked, liked it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up notifications, and most importantly, share this video with that friend of yours who may have doubts about consuming apples because many people end up avoiding consuming them because they think they can't consume them. Here is a very important tip for those who watched until the end and apple juice is not suitable for those who have diabetes. If you want to eat apples, you have to eat it fresh and with the peel. I want you to enjoy and leave here the hashtag apple juice no, so that I will know that you are watching the video until the end 
and that makes me very happy, all right? After all, it doesn't cost you anything to share this video with that friend of yours who has doubts, so share it on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, because then YouTube comes to understand that it is relevant content, and after all, for you to continue learning more and more about food treatment, quality of life and gain more and more health. Now I want you to stop everything you're doing right now and leave a comment here about the video grade from 0 to 10. What's the value of the grade of this video that you provide here for me? Because that way I see which content you like the most so we can create more targeted content that you can watch, learn, put into practice, improve treatment, gain more health, better quality of life, and so on. Be sure to comment, okay? Here on the side, I'm going to leave another super content. So be sure to keep binge watching the videos on the channel. Because that way, you improve your treatment, gain more quality of life, reduce the chances of complications, reduce the need to use medication, and only tend to gain self-esteem, okay? So we'll leave it here. Stay with God and see you later.